Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tommy. And I'm Frank. And this is gonna be the first episode of a lot of episodes that come about Worldwide Corals, about the store, about uh, the company, just everything you see around here, what we do. And Frank, why don't you tell We're me? We're gonna try to show you as much as we can and uh, try to give you as much information and try to have a little bit of fun as well because uh, you know, we play with fish and corals all day, so. <laughs> cool, so right when you walk in, you're gonna be greeted by our fish only system. So it's 600 gallons. And it's uh, 10 feet by 3 feet by 31. Um, it houses just a bunch of different fish in here. Uh, we'll probably get into you know what we have in here a little bit later as we get more into specifics. Um, but it's just it's um, lit by four radions. It's got a reef octopus skimmer and uh, just a, a simple sump and a UV sterilizer as well on it. Uh, I can't help but notice the star of the show. This is Chiquita. I'm Chiquita Banana and I've come to say. No, it's not Chiquita like the banana I keep saying Shakira. Look at you over there. Lou's all upset over there. Don't, He's change, upset. It. Don't, Don't change, change it. it. How about we ask the people? What do you guys think? Should we call it Chiquita like the bananas or Shakira like the singer? Oh baby, when you talk like that. And Shakira, 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 you know, come on guys. This is pretty rare for us. We, we haven't had a fish only system before, no, it's right? the first time we have a fish only system uh, at our store. Um, it's, just, it's a simple tank with a external skimmer. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty big sound. Well, another tank that you can't miss right when you walk in is our lagoon style tank. Uh, this guy is between 12 and 1400 gallons with the sump. Uh, it houses a lot of fish right now already. It's got tons of corals and it's been kind of running for a little while now so it looks really good. Um, it's got 13 radions on it. That's right, 13. Woo! That's crazy. Um, Check out this awesome aquascaping. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of like a raceway of corals that we have going on here. It really makes it easy for us to get in there and uh, clean and do the maintenance that we need to do. So that's kind of why we made it the way we did. What's, uh, what about that in the middle there? So we got a nine-year-old mangrove from Julian Sprung. Thank you, Julian, by the way. Um, Richard from Aficionado and Shane from 24-7 Aquariums actually took the time to bring it up here for us before the grand opening and uh, we couldn't appreciate that more because it really stands out in the tank. Um, yeah, it's like the centerpiece. It's pretty awesome and it's got feet. Or is that what we call it? Toes? Know, feet? feet? Toes? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Anchors? Yeah. You can definitely spend hours looking at it. We'll uh, go into more depth about this tank in a future video. Um, if, again, if you guys do have some questions, just pop them in the comments and we'll try to, our best to answer them. So let's take a look at uh, the rest of the store. Yeah, let's walk around. This is our water filling station. I mean, how, how cool is that looking? It's like a beer tap, comes right out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, need a, we need a beer glass. I think one day we're gonna fill one of these with uh, like some margarita mix. Kind of cool. What do you guys think? Have a little party over here. Uh, exactly. I'm down with that. <laughs> Let's check out these tanks over here because these have some pretty unique aquascaping. By actually done by a guy that I know. Yeah. Personally, um, he's pretty pretty rad guy. I would say. Actually, his name might actually be done by me. Might so be you. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to get some, uh, you know, just some feedback from you guys on how you think uh, how I did on this tank. So this aquascape that I did here, uh, using a uh, premium Marco rock, it's a sh new shelf rock that they actually sell now. Um, so I use this to kind of do little pillars and kind of make it a little bit open. Uh, but I really like the way it turned out, but you tell me what your thoughts are on it. This guy here, same tank and everything, but we use- This guy? This guy, Carlos? Uh, we, oh, hey, what's some up? Some of you guys may or may not know him, um, but he's been here for a while and he's a good guy. Yeah, how long have you been working at Worldwide Corals? Uh, about four years. Nice. Yeah. How many tanks do you have at home? Uh, four. Four? He's got four tanks. He's got four tanks. Yes, that's awesome. That's a true reefing guy right there. <laughs> he works here five days a week. Five days a week. Five days a week and he has four tanks at home. <laughs> um, so we got this branch rock that we did. Um, I, I kind of threw it together in one day, but it's a real reef branch rock. And I uh, kind of made a kind of a 
What would you call that? Uh, a like a branching ledge. Branching ledge, there you go. Or something. It's pretty cool. So it let is. us know which one you like better, first option or this one. Comment below. So this was in the other store, right? Yes, it was in the other store. It was in front of uh, the, re it was next to the register. It houses a little bit of everything, LPS to softies, um, to anemones and things like that. Hello, how are you? Uh, it's been going for quite a while now, so it looks really good. It's cool. It survived the move pretty well. Yeah, it survived the move really well, actually. So we're happy to see it here. So this is a lot bigger than the previous store. Yeah, I believe it's double the length. Um, this is where we house all the fish. Is this the fish hotel? Are you the are you the master of the fish hotel? I sure am. What can you tell us about the uh, this place? Um, so we've got three different rows. So bottom row is going to be for the bigger stuff. Um, the extra large fish can go up near the very end. We have a lot of the show tangs, uh, more of the aggressive fish like the lionfish, rays, sharks, stuff like that. Um, so we have all the fish going to be in right this section. The last tank down, that's going to be all aquaculture and stuff. And then the three tanks next to that is going to be the indoor section. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Love Thank your shoes. You. Oh, thank you. They glow in the dark. They do. They're pretty rad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one special fish that I really enjoy is uh, this rainbow basslet here. He's uh, pretty cool. Kind of rare. How much is this guy? He's seven forty-nine. He's still here, so come on down. So what we got here is all of our corals that we sell in the store. Um, there's a little bit of everything here. We got a lot of Australian corals right now. A lot of scalemias. A lot of hammers, frog spawns, uh, a lot of different types of LPS. Uh, we even got some donut corals that we just got in recently. And right here we got Moises. Right hey! Here. How are you? He's our pool champion. That's no. right. That's Jacob. Jacob's the best. Well, I heard you had the best handwriting in the whole building. I definitely do. That's why they have me doing this for hours. <laughs> so he's the one. Uh, he's he's marking the corals right now, and uh, that way you guys know what your uh, you know what the prices are for everything. So thank you, you for doing that. If you want to get a challenge and pull, that's the guy right there. I'm the guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is really cool because you get you get to hand pick the stuff. Put it on here and lay it out so you know what you get, and then when you bring it home, you, you can, can replicate the same thing. To, yeah, replicate and mim uh, mimic what you just did here. So there's like no guesswork. Takes all the guesswork out of it. It's really cool. And it got the scale there, so you know how many pounds you have. But this tank looks familiar, right? This tank was actually at the old farm. Um, we brought this over, and um, yeah, we just moved it in, and here it is. So it's, it's doing really good right now. So it's about 250 gallons. There's a couple different species of clownfish. We've got some uh, yellow tangs. And what is that, buddy? What is that guy? That is another rainbow basslet that is a lot larger than the other one that you just He's saw. He's amazing. Um, he is our new resident at World Like World. Uh, we just put him in a couple days ago. We, we need a name. We need a name for him. Yeah. Shout out below. G uh, give us a name for this guy. So one of the questions we get asked the most is where is Casper going to go? So behind me there's a huge 1600 gallon tank. It's 10 by 5 by 4. And as you can see this is a, it's going to be a great place for Casper. Uh, what's uh, interesting is someone's going to have to get in there and clean this tank. And it's going to be a, it's gonna be a fun one for, for one of us. <laughs> yes, yeah, so someone's got to suit up and pretty much just go diving in there to clean it yeah. or arrange the corals or any new coral placement. So as the tank matures, we'll be putting in or swapping out some frags and pieces in. So they're gonna be jumping in. That's so about right. Yeah, it'll be a good time for somebody for sure. Exactly, so we hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Worldwide Corals of our retail facility. Next video, we're gonna show you the yes. aquaculture center. Yes, we're gonna check out the farm. We're gonna walk around and do what we just did on this video and would love to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, any comments, um, anything you can kind of throw at us. Uh, we'll do our best to kind of show you guys uh, what else we got going on here. Yep, so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notified for new videos. Thank you guys. Catch you soon. Whoa, there's Chris. He's an artist.
That's all. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else to offer. <laughs>